Hello, Noor. Good morning. Good morning. You, you can hear me okay? I'm okay, thank you. You're running a bit late today, are you? Yeah, just <laughs> Okay. Now, See you. Noor, the, um, you're, you're in luck today because on a Sunday, I don't normally start work until 11 o'clock, okay? Yeah, so today. I had your reservation for 10.30, and I can give you the full 15 minutes, even though you're running late. But normally, if you call me and you're running late, I can only give you the, the remaining time of your booking, okay? So it is yeah. really important, my friend, that you turn up the class on time, okay? It's the only thing that we ask so that we can give you the full time. Otherwise, today, we would have just 10 minutes, yeah? Yes, absolutely. As it is, we're okay for 15 today. So it's nice to see you too. Um, how have you been? Yeah, very good. Going well. Doing very well. Good. Today we talk about scuba diving. Scuba diving. Okay, very cool. Is that yeah. something that you have ever tried, Noor Mohammed? No, I don't. Okay. Know. What's the purpose of scuba diving? What is the purpose of scuba diving? Okay. So, scuba diving is. Are you traveling still or in marine, marine and. And the military purpose, the uh, industrial, the shipping industry, everything. Is well, we have to be a little bit careful here because scuba, scuba itself mm -hmm. is a breathing system. OK, so what we call scuba yeah. diving. Yes, this is not really suitable for the marine industry, for the military. OK, these guys use different types of breathing apparatus, okay? Scuba mm -hmm. is really for the recreational market. It's a, it's a hobby, it's a pastime, and it's a good way of exploring the marine environment. In India, you have some incredible scuba diving. In Lakshadweep, I've mm -hmm. dived in Lakshadweep and was blown away by it. Um, also in Pondicherry, Puducherry, uh, there is some good diving. I have a friend who owns a dive center in Puducherry. Um, so there is recreational scuba. And then the military and the marine environment, those guys tend to use different types of breathing system to do work. Yeah, Whether it's welding or um, mining or... Uh, connecting lines together, uh, fiber optics, that sort of thing. They, um, they are not using scuba equipment. So to answer your question, scuba diving allows you to take a, a look at the life underwater, the world underwater, which is very different to life on the surface. Yeah. What do you... Go on. If we, we drive the scope driving, how many the dip we go in the sea? And well, the sea? when we talk, when how we talk there? about recreational scuba diving, um, yeah. the recreational limit is about forty meters. Okay, forty, 40 meters. Meter well, when you say only, um, at forty meters, the pressure surrounding you is five times what it is now. So that's a lot of pressure. That's a massive increase, five times the pressure that you have around you now. Um, and of course... At the time, how, how many how, how minutes or timing, you know, uh, the swimming... How long water. can you spend underwater? Yeah. Well, again, yeah. that's there's no such thing as an... I got you one. One cylinder yeah, hand. so um, there's something called Boyle's Law. I'm going to type it for you, okay? Boyle's Law. The cylinder that you have on the surface, let's say it lasts mm -hmm. you one hour, okay? Just breathing at the surface. Okay. But if you went down to 40 meters where there is five times the pressure, you would only have one-fifth of the time. So if your, if your cylinder lasts you for 60 minutes at the surface, one-fifth of 60 minutes is just 12 minutes. 
Okay. Plus you only 12 minutes. Like I said, Boyle's law, pressure and gas. Yeah. 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 So the yeah. deeper you go, the smaller your gas becomes, mm -hmm. which means the quicker you breathe it. Yeah. Because each breath yeah. takes more from the cylinder mm -hmm. the deeper you go. And of course, some is to do with your fitness because somebody very fit they can go down yeah. and up and use less air and oxygen much better than somebody who is very fat okay so um scuba diving is not an exact science we can use things like boyle's law to make a prediction an estimate but a lot of it depends on the individual and even in the individual how they are feeling that day how tired they are how thirsty they are all of these things affect 